I'm told that the reason the kids didn't come this week is because I gave them homework. <laughs> but um, I even brought I even brought some cool things to show them. So I thought, well, I don't want you to miss out. Um, it, it'll sound. I guess I'll do this a little differently, but. Many of you know I like small, miniature things. You may have seen my office, some things in my office. A lot of the kids know that, too. Um, But I have a number of things in this bag, and um, I bet some of you would recognize these. Um, And some of them are more kids that kids use these days. But... Um, would you believe that I have in this bag a Polaroid camera, a, a, a Viewmaster, a set of Lincoln Logs, Game of Uno, a refrigerator, Game of Candyland, Game of Uno, Game of Hungry Hungry Hippos, a Hot Wheels car, a Crocodile Dentist, a Chicken, and a Care Bear. Yeah, that's about it. I really do have all these things. I'll show you afterwards. Uh, World's smallest Lincoln logs. Um, This viewfinder actually works. I can show after the service if you're interested. A TV. I don't don't make this this up. A camera. Oh, the Eiffel Tower. I forgot. I had the Eiffel Tower in there. Um, I'll stop there, but I really do have all these things I I said I did. Um, And the reason is related to the mustard seed, because small things do matter. Um, Small things do matter to us. Oh, my sermon is back here. I'll have to save the rest of that children's sermon for next week um, when the kids can can do their homework. But for now, the message is that small things do matter. What's that? Oh, yeah, next week. I'll have to pass, pass the message on. I don't know what I'll do. But do not underestimate what a small thing can do. I know that you all do small things in your lives. I know that you all have small things in your lives that mean a lot. Each week, Joanna turns on the sound system, and it's quite simple once you learn how to do it. It's two different buttons, uh, and then I just have to turn my microphone on. But there's been, honestly, since I've been here, maybe just two Sundays that she hasn't been here. And uh, the one Sunday was pretty chaotic. We could not figure out how to make it work. Um, and I think it was a team effort. Someone didn't, someone, I don't know, someone, me, didn't turn on everything, and then we were all pushing buttons and, and whatnot. And uh, that one small thing of Joanna pushing two buttons turned in to be a pretty large thing because people at home couldn't hear. Um, but everyone here was very uh, understanding, and I, they got to hear me yell. So, so that was fun. But um, small things matter, and we learned it that, that one day especially. But we all have a skill like this um, that we can share with somebody. Maybe it's making them cookies um, when, when somebody's having a bad day, or bringing somebody a meal. We all have a gift that we can give or a gesture that we can make. Sometimes it's just as small as a smile or maybe it's a phone call saying, I've been thinking about you. All these things seem small, but they make a difference. And I know at times we think that our faith is small. Maybe we see somebody else who has a great faith and we think, well, my faith is so small. But Jesus tells us that's all it takes is a small amount of faith. And God says that God's kingdom is like a mustard seed. It's small and almost insignificant. But it becomes one of the greatest shrubs, really, that's like a tree. And God's kingdom is like a small amount of yeast. 
if you've ever used yeast, you need such a small amount. But then combined with some flour, it becomes bread for people who are hungry, people who need food to live. God's kingdom is like a treasure or a pearl, and we are the treasures and pearls. And God would do anything to have us, to find us when we become lost. Because Christ died for all people so that we would have this abundant life. And we believe that the Christ was so powerful that he even conquered death for all people, not just for himself in the resurrection, but when he died on the cross, he refused to stay dead. And when we die, he asks all of us to join him for eternity. Something as small as scripture can be life-giving for us. When we hear words like this, For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God and Christ our Lord. As God's people, we come together to be reminded of this great love for us. We need to be reminded of it by others when we can't see it for ourselves. We need to remember that our faith is like the seed or the yeast or a pearl Something so small that could be lost in the wind. But God knows they are important. God gives care to them. God plants them or mixes them with flour. God preserves them so that they will become something new. Faith helps us to believe that Christ is present with us. And that Christ gives us strength to believe and be the presence of God in the world. And it seems like such a small thing to have faith. But what a big thing it is when we share it with others. When they see our faith and strength in God. For Jesus, faith isn't always larger than life. It doesn't have to be grand gestures, although it appears that that way when he shows us miracles or healings. But faith can be simple and ordinary, just a small gift given to us by God that makes a big difference. Faith is part of our identity as people of God and is part of the life to which we are called. Faith is walking toward a future that we don't see but trusting that God is there preparing a place for us, that God is carrying us into the future. Jesus says that faith is already within us. And that's, no matter what, that's, that's not taken away when our lives are complicated or messy. But we still believe that Christ works through us. We have all the faith we need. It just takes that small amount. We don't have to feel like a hero. It doesn't have to be big and flashy. But faith is doing something simple that needs to be done right in front of us. It's loving and forgiving and serving God. Faith is as much of a verb as it is a noun. It's a word that is put into action by both us and God. It's not just a thing we have or collect. It's something we use every day. Faith is being and doing. Faith is the person that God has created you to be. Faith is sharing your blessings and your gifts with the world. Faith is teaming up with God to show the world of God's love. And God has given us enough faith. God continues to invite us into a love that is too great to imagine fully. And grants us faith to believe that we are all beloved children of God. And so there is enough faith 
and love for us and for the entire world. Thanks be to God.